to tell you. So if you're in front of a train and it's about to hit you and I go, yo, you need to move and you don't, you're going to die. And I might say it a little more aggressive, but at the end of the day, if to save your life, I have to talk to you in a way, like to me, uh, then so be it. So again, sometimes you don't like the way your coach coaches you, but you still have enough respect to move on. And when you get to the Super Bowl, you happy. I feel almost feel like, you know, I don't know, and no disrespect to Bleak, mm -hmm. but I feel like I, I don't think he would not want to be still making current records and making a lot of money doing new records. You know, I didn't want him to be on a, like a, a, and no disrespect, but I don't, no one wants to be on the oldies but goodies tour. You want to be known for new shit. That's why you see how important it is for me to be able to stand on my own years later and still be able to do new stuff. I wasn't advising him to do anything that I wasn't doing for myself. Like, the, the misconception about Rockefeller is they kicked me out. I left. At, when Change Clothes came out, mm -hmm. I had already had an office at Rockware. I was already done with Rock. I didn't want to run Rockefeller no more. Mm -hmm. I still don't want to run a music. I had retired from Rockefeller way before this so-called split. And again, you know, it's kind of funny to have... Because to me, this conversation that, that, that Memphis Bleak spoke about made him sound like a general and me sound like a soldier. Like, I couldn't even picture how that would sound. Like, no, everything's going to be okay, Bleak. Jay's still going to... We're going to work it out. No, Dame, it's over, Dame. Like, I would love to... But that visual, I was like... It just made me... I wasn't mad at it. I was just wondering why he was saying it. So I'm not mad at Bleak. Right, right. I'm not mad. I'm, I, I, I wish that I could have communicated him. And again, I don't know what his dreams are, but would I have the same expectation for all my artists? I want all of y'all to be billionaires. And if some needed a little more pushing than others, and some took it a certain way, but look what happened. Not to say he's a train wreck or anything like that, right. but he hasn't had an album out in 10 years. He hasn't been able to, you know, and I wish that he could, but, you know... I'm, I, he might, would he, and I'm not saying he hates his life, and I'm, but what I wanted for him, and he might not want have wanted that for himself, but I'm not mad at him. I was only questioning why, and again, I, I'm, again, I saved him. Like people that were really close to him were taking his publishing. How did you save him? I just told you, people that he was about in, to. So I'm into, like, into. Let me, I'm gonna tell you, when he was trying to sign his record deal. Someone had his, he was signed to a production deal. And I'm not gonna say nobody's name, I'll let them deal with that, he talks about it. He had all his publishing was getting taken. They were getting a piece of his royalty, like he was getting robbed. So I went and got him a lawyer. I went and got him a real accountant. And it really caused a lot of friction internally. But I was like, I'm not gonna do that. Even, he's from Brooklyn and Brooklyn niggas was robbing him. And I saved him from that. So, yeah, I saved him from that. And, and he knows that, and he acknowledges it. In all fairness, he did. He, he yeah. actually, in that same interview on Jack So, I, I, I'm not, I never, so I'm not mad at him or anything, but I just wanted him to be just as rich as Jay, just as rich as Kanye. I wanted him to have his own clothing line. I tried him, the reason why he never could be named, because you got to remember, when they said that I made Cam the vice president, I had also made Beans the vice president. The reason why is because if you had a label, then that just made you a vice president. It didn't give you no juice within the company. Right. So I was like, Bleak, you have to put out some records, be, be a label, have a, your own clothing line. I was just trying to push him to do the things that Beanie was doing and that Cam was doing so that Brooklyn was represented properly. No one was pushing him. So I didn't want to see him just have to, you know, be worried about... I, didn't, I, I was just trying to get him where he had to go. He didn't listen, and I move on. So he never said he's mad at me. He, when I see being, when, I, when I speak to Bleak, it's always been love. I, it's never been... All I was curious to know was why he's telling that part of the story that way, and I would love to have a little more memory refresh on that if, that's, if that happened, but I don't, I, didn't, I don't remember arguing with him about anything but... Yo, I need that. When he was saying that we argued all the time, that was just me coaching. It might have felt like argument to him, but I wasn't trying to like make him understand or like think, get validation from him for anything I was saying. Mm -hmm. I was saying, yo, if you don't have a clothing line, if you don't do your own label, 
if, if you don't start making your own content in 10, 15 years, you're just going to be you know, possibly doing interviews about things that happened before. And your performances, you're going to be performing stuff that you were performing when you were 10 years younger. Mm -hmm. So I was just trying to push him to be great. He might have took it a different way, but he didn't. He just said we used to argue. A per the perspective of like a 20-year-old talking to a 30-year-old or whatever it was, or a 30-year-old talking, you know, of course his perspective is going to be different, but I'm not mad at him. I've never been mad at Bleak. Every time I see Bleak, talk to Bleak, when I did this project, we always, it's always been nothing but love. But I still, when you say my name and you tell a story that's a little different, I'm just like curious to know what, why is that the narrative and why? What's the purpose of that, you know? Mm -hmm. But that's all. No. It sounds like when the narrative is wrong, that's also a trigger for you. Yeah, when someone's not telling the truth. Misinformation. It's just, I, and I, I, I was just wondering, it was a trigger to wonder why. Not to make me angry. I just was like, why? So I was like, why is that? that? A lot of the stories were right, but some of them were a little foggy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that one there didn't even add up. I mean, one thing, one thing I, I will give you is this, you know, because you, you catch a lot of flack for addressing these issues. Flack? Right? I don't catch no flack. No, no. <laughs> At all. See what I'm saying? People say, well, why is Dane talking about this? I don't care what people say. No, no, listen. I know, I'm just telling I, you. No, I get that. I don't I, even trust listen. Trust me, I know that. I already know that know no that. matter what, people are going to say that. So that my, is something that my I point, expect. My point is, is that they also talk about you. Okay, mm -hmm. they're asked the same questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're, it, I don't see an interview with Beans. I don't see an interview with Bleak. Unless I don't see an interview with none of those people that they're not asked about Dane. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. But if the story's so, wrong, I'll be like, now, why? What I, see, what I see in that, as from the interviewer standpoint to this, mm -hmm. from a therapist standpoint, the pattern I see in that is that they're, they're saying that y'all all still love each other. And there's ne no one never said, what, what's the no, last, wait, 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 wait. Do I always start with that's my brothers? Absolutely. I, I, I have nothing but love for all of them. If I, they make, as long as they don't disrespect me completely, yeah. like I'm mad at certain people because they took me to court. That's to me, I'm like, nah, I can't get over that until we have a conversation. Right. That's super violation. We used to hustle together. Yeah. But if you didn't hustle, you wouldn't have took it like that, correct? No, nah, not at all. Exactly. And that, and if we, but no, no, no. Let me, let me get it wrong. Mm -hmm. We were we were friends, brothers. The hustling was where the brotherhood happened. Right. And you know that's why I'm like, damn. We I, I still have those ideals and morals. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm not hustling. Never. I haven't hustled. You know none of that. But but still, it it, it it just friends, brothers. Whether they hustled or not, if you have a brotherhood, if I know your children, if I know your parents, if we ate, went on vacation, did all these things together. You could give me a call before you lie on me and sue me. But I don't, again, I don't want to backpedal. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, that's cool. I just, I, I just wanted to... I think it's just. I just wanted to show an observation that that's why the triggers... I think that's why it's more personalized are. because there's still emotion connected to those exactly. people. Exactly. I think if I was mad about it, mm -hmm. if it was something that made me talk about it all day long, yeah, maybe. But again... The fact that I could recognize that I'm like, oh, let me just, it, it, I, I just, sometimes I want to know how to take that shit. You know what I mean? Like, Paul, it's like, how, how do I take it that they're not saying things correctly? Like, how do I not wonder why? But, like, when people have, like, when you hear people say that they have intentionally collaborated together to make my, sure my family don't eat, you know, it's hard not to be bothered by that. I have a question. Like, you know, really. One of the statements that you just made is like, why you can't just get on the, full, on the phone and call me before so we can have a discussion about this? Mm. Is the relationship intact enough for them to yeah. just call you? 100%. So you guys do speak outside? Like, not outside, but no matter when I see you, we brothers. So when I see so, everybody is always, yo, what up? It, like, we, we, it's the brotherhood. But it's not a brotherhood in terms of the consistency of remaining in contact. It's not the brotherhood based on the honor and lying lives. on me and taking me to court. That's not a brotherhood. Right. That's not. That's a violation of, of brotherhood. So if your cousin took you to court right now, would that blow your mind? Pause. Yeah, it wouldn't happen. That's what I would be saying. But if that's his cousin... Would, but, like if if he did, asked, but if but he if did. But if it's an estranged cousin. But if he did. But if he did, uh -huh. you know what I would do? Am I now... Go have a conversation with him. No, no. The, 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 the immature self before the therapist, feel me? I would have got caught up in my emotion. 
I would have been, like, f- been like, yo, what the fuck, girl? What about the like, one what, after? Okay, the one after, Sis Darren says, damn. It hurt. Right? That would damn, hurt you. Damn. And I sit there and go, that's it. you know what? That's just where he is. And that's what I did. Is it? Did it hurt you? Would it hurt you? Of course. If he lied on you, would it hurt you? Of course. If anybody ever asked you about that man, what would you say? I would say exactly how I felt. Exactly what I do, right? Yes. All right. But, but. But I see that when you answer these questions, mm-hmm. right? Because there's a narrative that's going that that goes around. Which but is I don't why. care. That's the thing. You think I care about the narrative? No, I don't. you do care about the narrative. Not, not that if narrative. It's, if not it's, that it's that misspoken, narrative. I yes. don't. And I you don't. do care about the narrative if it's not Listen accurate. To me. I think I think they want to understand something. I go by algorithm, pattern, and and margins, so I know. No matter what, if I discuss my truth, someone is going to say something. It's for me to care. I don't, I already know that out of a million people, if 10,000 people are going to say something, also the people that I may be speaking on, that might be their only defense is to, 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 to pretend they're other people and say certain things. But at the end of the day, if that's all that they could say, I don't care. They don't even have to listen to me. They don't have to look at me. No one's making them hear what I'm saying. It's hard for me to care about the opinion of someone that's not playing the game I'm playing. But this is different because... Not for me. But they have titles associated to you. And you have expectations. So you can't wait, 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 say wait. you don't You talking about care. the people I care about or the people the I people don't care about? The people who you are addressing right now oh. have had yeah. some form of title. Nah, they just keep talking about me. But you so call they, Nori your brother. You call they, Meek your brother. Right. You call so-and-so. Jay you brother. rejected Those are the only people oh. that, that's the only reason. If somebody else right. that so wasn't my brother. So you can't say you don't care. You care. No, no, no. I, I got it wrong. I, I okay, thought you were ahead. talking about the people I don't know. So let me clarify that. Okay, go ahead. retract that. I did not. I thought that you meant the totally narrative fine. of the fans. Yep. No, yeah, I'm talking about the narrative I, of I, the people. I, I don't care about what they think now yeah. at all. They might pitch. I, I don't expect them to ever tell the truth about why they did things to me, pause, that I didn't deserve, that fuck with my money. Mm. Or, 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 you know, I don't expect them to ever have a fair one because there's really nothing you can say. Like, no, there's nothing. I've never done anything dishonest to anyone at all. And if that, I challenge someone to say it. So if that expectation is not there, right? For what, them now, if yeah. If the expectation is not there for them now, uh-huh. what do you do with the trigger? It's not, they're gonna, listen, part of being in the public eye mm-hmm. is dealing with people speaking on you. It's just part of the game. So if you Explain can't- Explain why that is. Because you're in the public eye. But why? But why? Not why you're in the public eye, but why does that matter? Why does it matter if, if that they what? speak on you? It doesn't matter if they speak good, on me or not. Bad. They're going to. Sp- if you're a public person, mm-hmm. the expectation is people are going to talk about you, right. no matter what. You're going to have your good days. You're going to have your bad days. So there is a disconnect you have to have to, in order to be balanced. So you have to say, if I'm going to be public, mm-hmm. I have to take the good pause with the bad. Both can't bother me. So I try to feel equally the same way about public perception of the good, public perception of the bad. But when people that are my friends that I've given a certain amount of respect to mm-hmm. are saying my name and maybe not you know, doing things, then that's my opinion on it when it comes up. But I'm, I'm not like, again, it doesn't drive me nuts. And I, I don't want you to think, you know, this is the time for those conversations. But generally speaking, I'm not going to be calling every day and all that, like literally... When, when I speak to Tajay, it's to look for something may, that may be unconsciously bothering yeah. me. So he might, I go through all the good, I don't just, like, how much good stuff do I talk about? No, for, for sure. Like, I, I'm more celebrating the fact that I have all these new things, that my family, that we're all working together, that all my dreams are coming true, that I'm, I, I actually have to go on platforms to promote my um, new companies. Yeah. So while I'm on those platforms, people ask me questions. But now I'm like, yo, I got my own platform. So I can deal with these things here. Yeah. And no one, when I get to people I don't know and I want to promote my stuff, maybe I could promote my stuff instead of talking about all the bad stuff. 
Or if it's stuff that you think triggers me, I can be like, yo, I dealt with it in therapy you know, or, or a therapeutic conversation. Mm -hmm. So you know the answers to all these things. You don't have to ask me no more. So do you tell them that? When people ask me questions, sometimes, like, again, it depends on who it is. So if it's a Daytuan who I also consider my brother, yeah. But if I just met you, nah, I think you have to have a, a certain amount of respect to ask me certain questions. I don't think you're respecting your boundaries enough. I was about to bring up boundaries as well, mm. Damon. I think that um, you have so much great things going on, so I'm just curious as to- Boundaries on what though? In a sense Why of you not, still leave yeah. a space open for the past. Yeah. It, yeah. It, regardless of them being questioned on care. this platform. I don't care. But, I, 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 I don't think you're understanding me. If somebody asks me a question, it doesn't trigger me to answer it. What triggers me is when somebody asks someone else a question and they about give me, misinformation. And they get misinformation. Y'all getting it twisted. Like, no, don't no, get it untwisted. No, like, the reason, you know the reason, no, there's, there's, no, there's a reason why I ask like, them. I, it doesn't bother me that people ask me questions. It bothers me that they don't ask them questions. All right, they might make boundaries. So then I just feel that sometimes when I do, like, when I did make the boundary on the Breakfast Club, you heard me. I was like, yo, stop asking me these questions. Did I not? But it's conditioned. Wait, wait, let me ask you a question. This is did true. I, 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 yes. Wait, wait. So even though I did that, were those boundaries respected? No. They kept pushing. And that's what people do. But, like you, sometimes but, you, upheld, but you upheld your boundaries. Nah. I, I, I went. You did. I, no. I went on and said certain things, and then I went and pivoted to what I wanted to talk about. So I don't even have a whole interview about these people. These are the things that go platinum even when I'm pivoting. So, do so what they don't even show, wait, there are people that ask me that question and I go, yo, I don't feel like talking about that right now. But if, if certain people I respect, so if I'm with Willie D from the Ghetto Boys and he asked me the question, I'm answering. Shout out to Willie D. But shout out to a legend. So if a legend asks me, yeah, I'm going to answer. If Dave Mays asks me, you know, if somebody asks me that I respect that's put in that work, you know, someone, you know, if one of y'all, I'm going to answer. But if you don't know me and you're just trying to go viral, it, it would only have to be because it's in my best interest right there because I want a message out to mm -hmm. even deal with it. Well, but, but another mm -hmm. thing you have to understand, uh, people are taking me actively to have taken me to court and have tried to control narrative. So sometimes I have to, because I'm not with a publicist, because I'm, I don't have the money to pay for the legal. Because mm. you got to remember, I don't have the money to spend a million dollars a year on legal. I just don't have it because I'm investing in my dream. Think, yeah. When I get the money, I'm putting money on everybody's head when I have it. But until I have it, I'm not. And when I say money on head, pour someone's head, I know where people are from it. That sounds different. But what I'm saying is on a legal way. If I have, if I could get lawyered up, and that's why people be taking advantage right now. You know, they know that I ain't got a million dollars to be spending on lawyers. So people sometimes try to drag me through it just to absorb my resources. So like, you know, you gotta remember, man, I had to start a company with no money, this last one. I didn't get my money back. I didn't get the re-up from Rachel Roy. I had to go and do this America New Dream from scratch. You understand? It's not even my company. It's my family's company. And not, you know, and, 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 and also start a sneaker company from scratch. Mm -hmm. Also figure out how to make glasses from scratch. Mm -hmm. Figure out how to get this building from scratch for three, four, five years. I want to... Figure out how to do every single thing I've been doing from scratch. So I don't really have time to be worried about the past so much. I have a dream that I love that I bet it all on. And only thing I want to visualize is the positive stuff. So if I visualize too much negative, then that's what's going to happen. I don't even have enough time to visualize the past unless it's to learn how to make my future better. I so, don't have the time to worry about these dudes. So that's the reason why when I make these conversations, I'm like, all right, well, this one said that one, this one, this one, this one. Being in the public eye mm -hmm. means people are going to speak on you. It doesn't mean I got to like it. It just means I got to, I'm not going to, I don't really mind it. I just be wondering why certain things happen. But again, with a Nori, there's a consistency there. So again, love Nori, but I just wish he would get at Leo and ask him the questions that I know that he knows he should be asking. Forget even the questions about me. At least get at him about the, 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 
the, the YouTube shit. Well, br bringing it, circling back to you. I just said something about it. Cir 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 circling back let, to you. Let people learn from it. Cir circling back to you and this boundary issue. Because this is a serious pattern that I'm seeing and I'm going to address it. But I'm not mad. No, no, no. I understand. I'm not saying you're mad. Uh -huh. All right. No disrespect to the people that are interviewing you. Because mm. I know some of them are your brothers. Mm. Some of them are mutual friends of ours. Mm. Right? If they know you, how you're saying they know you and how I know they know you, right? They're, they already know the answers to those questions that they're asking. you, And they also know they just have to ask three times in order to get him the answer. But they also <laughs> know that those views are coming with those answers. Because he'll shut it down the first time and then he says they'll, they'll, they'll continuously probe. This is, this is called... But I know. In, hold on. In family therapy, this is called enabling. Mm -hmm. Okay? Enable. Hold on. Listen to me. By not being consistent with your boundary towards everybody, because you've stated publicly, personally, you, that you're tired of ask, answering these questions. But no, no, no. Hold on, no, let me wait, finish. Let me finish. Dang, 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 dang. Let me finish. I think you're veering off to the wrong. I know, I think you're veering to the wrong. No, 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 no. But it, let me finish what I'm saying. Though. Uh -huh. If you're if you're saying, hey, this is my boundary. I'm tired of answering these questions. Uh -huh. I've answered them already. Mm -hmm. Them as your friends. And as your brothers, because remember, when we first started this, I, 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 I know you're hammering down dang, on dang, it, but dang, I dang, understand. Dang. You have to let me finish. Bro. I heard you already. But you, no, no, you haven't heard me because I haven't finished what I'm saying. Let him finish his thought and then you as, 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 as your homie, feel me? Because I have your best interest in mind, too. Mm. And when we first started, you had to drag it out of me. Because remember, I said, I'm not asking you those questions because I already know the answers. Okay, I understand okay? what you're so saying. So what I'm saying is, you have to be consistent because when you no, open I don't. the door, listen to me. Listen hold on, to me. hold on, listen. But that's the thing is, you, 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 you no, no, you have to. You, dang, I, I don't you, understand. Hold on, dang, dang, now, dang. I'm not, you, now I'm not understanding your. You're point. gonna understand my point once I finish. Uh, okay, if you're gonna say a boundary, and not be consistent with that boundary to everybody, that's not in a therapeutic space. You're gonna open up yourself to other people thinking they can do the thinking same. Thinking they can do the same. Yeah. You have to uphold those boundaries. Just like when we had you and OG Daniel up here. This was the exact issue that we was dealing with. Can I just say something? I don't have an issue. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't have an issue with people asking me. This is what happens when people ask me questions. I go, I don't care about the question as long as you don't care about the answer. The only reason why I'm talking about what I'm talking about now is because they said my name. Like, I don't understand why y'all think this is such a big in deal. In this situation. I think it's, yeah, but I'm saying is I don't mind when people ask. I just get mad if they ask me and don't ask them. And that's the reason. So certain people I answer and certain people I don't. Like sometimes, yeah, I will leverage that experience to bring exactly things to the attention I want. It doesn't bother me. Right. Or, so it's or, conditional. Or, listen, y'all getting off the point. We're not. The, no, listen to me. I'm telling you what's bothering me, Right. It wasn't even bothering me. If somebody brings up my name, then it triggers me to have a thought about it. I think that's human. That's when I have the thought about it, I just say, yo, I just wonder why Bleak would say that. Like, I'm happy he said things. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad. What I'm bothered about with Nori is I'm glad he asked, but I just wish he would have asked these other questions. I'm not like, yo, I hate you for that. You understand what I'm saying? It's not that big a deal. Y'all making it a bigger deal to me than it is. I no, think. it's not that. It's that we're seeing an but, underlying but what I'm pattern saying, here. I don't. I want to be clear. I'm not bothered by people asking me, but I am bothered when people ask me, and then I answer, and then maybe like you know, like y'all might think that that's bothering me if somebody says, "Oh, that's all he's talking about." Like I don't really care. I just don't care. I, also, if I like, I could. I'll leverage that to bring attention and awareness to something that I own. Like, I don't mind leveraging a, a misconception of, of somebody asking me a question that sounds too crazy and it'd be like, but when you see it, it's not that. So if you were ask me, if I'm gonna talk about my experiences, like if somebody asked me about Aaliyah, mm -hmm. there's certain things I'm gonna say. Right. I'm not gonna just give you that scoop. Right. But if you ask me about Aaliyah on my platform, I'm gonna tell you everything. Because now I'm gonna be able to benefit from it, I'm going to be able to do it in a therapeutic way, and I'm going to, you're not going to benefit off that experience. Now, there's certain times that I've answered questions about Ali and said certain things. 
Like, I have so many different stories about so many things, mm -hmm. but also sometimes I don't want that to overshadow what I'm trying to promote. So I don't want, I, I, I'm, I'm playing, that's only issue that I just dealt with with Nori was that if you're going to ask me a lot of questions about Lior, ask Lior a lot of questions. Only issue I had with Bleak was not even an issue. I just didn't understand his perspective on that reality. But you're also policing. I'm not policing anything. They said it. Let me it finish can't. my thought. Okay. You're also policing what Nori should be asking. No. That's, that's kind of what it sounds. It okay, should be fine. asked not this way, and this question should be way. asked, and that question should but be asked. I'm not asked, mad. I'm just but saying. But it's his platform, right? But right? I'm not mad. It doesn't affect my, my future. I don't internalize. That's just how I feel about it. I, I, I don't, if anybody gets Lior in an interview and do, from our culture and doesn't check him for him disrespecting our culture, whether it's with me or anybody else, that's why I took it off me. Pause. Mm -hmm. I said, yo, he's robbing our culture. And I, uh, I called him out publicly, and now you got him on there. He could clear it up. So why wouldn't you? So it sounds like there's an expectation there. Of, that, of honesty. That, that you believe that Nori should have taken more responsibility for the mm -hmm. moment that he had and that Based time that he was able. Me. Yes, I know he can do it. According I to your Nori perspective. Can do yeah. it. I know Nori can push, pause, and why wouldn't he? I know Nori needs the clicks. I know he wants things to go viral, so why wouldn't he? Do you consider that a betrayal? Um, I don't, I, I, I consider it like, I just wish, not a betrayal, no. Not. Okay. Mm. I, I just wish that, to me it's not a betrayal to me, it's almost like a betrayal to the public. Um, do you consider you know? it a disappointment? hundred. I said that already. I'm I think very that's the better. That's the word. I, I started the conversation. Yeah, there's a clear distinction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started. I started the conversation with that. I said I'm disappointed. I said he's still my brother. I'm just disappointed in my brother for not asking those questions. And sometimes I wonder why he doesn't. Is so it? if I get him, I'm. A, I, you know, I've asked him the question before. So I'm just like, yo, bro, why? If you're going, you know, just get at him. Like, if you're going to keep asking questions about me, ask, you know, things that challenge things that don't make sense because I've seen you challenge things that don't make sense. Is there an example of somebody in your life from your whole life mm -hmm. that has met the expectation? Yeah, Jay Black, my man Jay Black. How, how? Give, give us an example. Yeah. He's just always been like a person that, he's just been real honorable. He's give an example. Cool. What does that entail? Like what is honor being honorable? Like what is it? So that we can collectively observe if, how if, if meeting I, if, expectation for you looks like. If, if, if I need him to support me in any level, anywhere, anytime, he'll be there for me. So, and, and if I need to talk to him, he'll give me, he doesn't agree with what I say, but he says it in a, such a respectful way. And I, I've never felt like he's ever let anybody disrespect me or let anybody like you know, I just like the way he conducts his, the way he's done things for the last, like, we, you know, we in our 50s. How you known and how long? A long time. Like your whole life? Not my whole life, but like, you know, since I was like 16. How many different capacities has he been involved in your life? A lot. Like he worked with me at Rockefeller. We hustled, paused together. You know, he's been my friend. He's been a friend to my family. He's helped me move, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's helped me paint, you know what I'm saying? He's just a genuine friend, you know what I mean? I've never really had an argument with him. Like, we've had disagreements, but I never had an argument with him. You know what I mean? Like, it's always, to me, been a fair exchange. I've never felt like, damn, how are you going to do that? Like, he's never done that ever. I'd be really surprised if he did. Would you say that's the bar? No, I don't expect nothing. Nobody be like Jay Black. <laughs> I I think that would, you'd have to go. I don't know. Nah, I don't think nobody could do that. And and also, like other people in my life from my family, mm -hmm. you know, like like, can you name some of them? Or you don't have to name them, but just you know, brothers, sisters, you know, cousins, uncles. You know, 
you know? Because I think you're, uh, the expectation that not just you, but all of us that come from, you know, where we come from, you know, the expectations we have of people are very deep rooted, like in our experiences. Let me say this. Mm -hmm. If someone's from where I'm from, I do have a different expectation from someone that's not where I'm from. Okay. So if someone's been through the same, like, like I have a different expectation from you. If right. you say certain words, I know you know what they mean. Absolutely. I have a, a, a different expectation of, of the way you would react to things than I would have for someone else because of the degree of uh, authenticity you have for everything that you've done and do. Right. Or the placement you have for some of these for people. To do it. Like some people are, most people, like if they're petty about something minor, they're going to be petty about something major. If you're thorough about something mi minor, you're going to be thorough about something major. But if you're thorough about something major, you're definitely usually thorough about everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, it, trans it translates. Is there a difference in the, uh, or should there be a difference? And this is, I just want to know your opinion. Should there be a difference in how you look at the grievances you have towards these different people? Nah, if Jay Black ever took me to court, it would hurt. Pause, I would wonder, I would bug me out. You said if who took? took Jay Black. Black. Oh, Jay Black. Yeah. If we was ever getting money and, and he did, so, I would really, you know, he's from 40th, so yeah. that's the only thing I'd be like, well, he's from 40th. But he just, it would really bug me out because 40th, they used to be wild. Mm -hmm. But... Even, like I was saying, even for a 40th Street dude, he has he just deals with things with a certain level of sophistication. He understands code. To the to the level. And it sounds like, or it feels like, you're very big on code. Code. And there's but friend code, like, there's street code, there's business code, there's this code, there's that code. Is there a difference between the street code and friend code? For you, Jane, is there? Yeah. What is it? What's that difference? Like, I got friends in boarding school that, like, we got busted drinking, and I didn't get busted, but he did, and he told the headmaster, Vivek, but we still friends. But if, like, some one of my friends from the street did some shit like that, then I don't know how we could still be friends. So I mm. get different tolerances for different things. I don't expect certain things. Like, if somebody... Like, also, Vivek once, like, I went to St. Thomas, me and Biggs. And he's, again, he's my man and all that. But I went and bought some diamonds from him, thinking from his family, and they were supposed to be VVSs. I get back, and they SIs. He tried, the, okay, so. And I was like, yo. So he gave you those? His family gave me SIs, think, making us think they were VVSs, but they didn't think we'd get them. Checked out. Checked out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, bro, man, like. You know, again, another situation, and especially in that moment, it would have been different, but now just give me my shit back. But I just tease him, like, yo, you just a, a scumbag. Like, even with D Nori, like, I have a thing with Nori where I'd be like, yo, the, there's like a, a, a scumbag part of, part of Nori that we all know about. So I know that sometimes he's doing his little, you know, and we talk about it, we laugh about it. He told you that? Yeah. That was, right? Yeah, we had the yeah. conversation. We had, like, had to have lunch about it. Like, other stuff has happened. Where it'd be like, yo, bro, how you gonna do that, man? He like, you know, I'm I'm fucked up. I know. There's just a little part of me that's a little, you know. We talk about. It. What was but, your reaction to that when he said that? I just like, yo, I laughed. You laughed. Yeah. I just but laughed. Did it, did it bother you at that moment? Yeah, but I, I I'm used to it with him. Like if I know he does mm -hmm. that, I'm like, yo, why we had you know we talking out. So you've accepted this part of his yeah. personality. So that's why I have boundaries, but if I'm still like. I wanna. I still bothers me a little bit. Like, like the fact that he didn't ask those questions. I'm asking those questions, and now I want him to like people to ask him. Like, why you didn't ask that? And now I want whoever else interviews Lior to ask him that. You know why? Because I want the culture to understand CPMs. <laughs> I don't want creatives to get robbed. There's a purpose of me leveraging this. The purpose is so creatives understand how much they make from YouTube, he's at YouTube, and no one's asking the question about CPMs. Why would you be on YouTube and make your money from YouTube and somebody's getting 90%, 99% of the money and you're not asking them why? Explain that business. That's all I want. 
So I'm not like, it's really not that personal. Do you think Leora is going to be honest about that? In your opinion? I want to hear what he got to say. I want I want him to not think a creative can get robbed in that way. When you get on there and, and tell him he's the best in the world, but he's a part of slavery, digital slavery. You, and he knows what CPMs are. Mm -hmm. Like, you you know when, 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 when in, 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 um, like for YouTube, they'll be like, oh, we're taking money from what I heard because you said something about sex or you said, right. they still get the commercial. They, they, they punishing you, but they still get paid. And no one asks. And I, I don't care what y'all say. You or you or anybody else because nobody understands CPMs. I'm not going to let our culture get robbed. Right. Do you think I'm, it's, I'm not going to let us go 100 years, get robbed, and then understand CPMs later, but you, I'm not going to do it. So I'm really leveraging that. He, oh, you want to say something? Let's talk about the CP. Now I called you out. I got on Willie's show. I got on the radio in Houston, and I called Leo out about CPMs. Forget anything else. Ask about those CPMs. Don't ask, how much do you get off of your content, and how much do they get off your content? Leo and YouTube. So That's so. I just want education right. because he tends to be the person. Like I'm more mad at Leo about the 360 deal, and and, and the way he's done to not just me, to the whole culture. That's why I call him a culture vulture, not a Dame Dash vulture. I want people to recognize, like, you celebrating a guy that's robbing you. No, is it about... And that's my opinion, based on... I'm just like, yo, ask the question. Damon said that your CPM game is you robbing the artists and that the artists are getting half of a percent and y'all getting 99 and a half. Can you please explain what a CPM... And again, he might not know to ask that question, but because he didn't, I'm going to leverage this opportunity to do that. Now, is the goal education or exposure? Both. And so... Both. I, I, if somebody's molesting children, I want everybody to know they're molesting children. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to molest children no more. So, and I'm not saying he's molesting children. Be clear. Yes. I'm just giving very you a clear parallel that. example that... And I don't want to trigger. I'm just saying, as an example, if somebody's robbing the community, I want people to say, this is the guy to ask the question so he don't rob you. I'm just giving us education... And that bothers me that he's not getting questioned. So why not launch a psychoeducational platform that just that. teaches people that's about America CPMs? That's what I'm doing now. Okay. Am I not teaching now? No, absolutely. So that's what I'm doing. My way of doing it isn't the way that people... Look. I'm not going to show you how I'm going to teach you. I think, Melody's, I think what Melody's getting at is, again, kind of what we talked about before, because it is triggering to you that they're not asking him that. And mm -hmm. the thing is, is that it's triggering me you, that the culture is being robbed. No, no, yeah, and but and and I think what Melody is also you know is that me, you, or her, or anybody in this world, we don't have no control over how they run their shit. Right, but I still want the world not to be robbed by him and celebrated by him and not be questioned at all. That's a trigger. So if I know that someone's robbing people, but they're being celebrated by the people that are robbing them, I'm a little triggered, for sure. I'm mm -hmm. sick of the people I protect. Yeah treating them with so much respect, of course I'm going to be triggered. But, not that triggered, but I'm definitely going to use it to talk about it. Y'all ain't going to... So now maybe the next time mm -hmm. somebody's on has Leo, mm -hmm. they know that if they don't ask that question and they're conscious that they should, that there's a reason and they need to ask themselves why they don't care about their CPM. Because most people interviewing him make their money, and some, not all of it, but they make their money on YouTube. You got the head of YouTube right there. That's the, the thing that I... Uh, bottom line is, if he wouldn't have said what he said on the radio, then I wouldn't have to feel a way about it. But I'm like, yo, he says this, plus robbing us on the CPMs, plus created the 360 deal, plus broke up Rockefeller. Like, yo, I, yo why you how, how could you not ask him about this? But you celebrating that man. That's all. So maybe you don't know, Nori, but I'm going to tell you in front of everybody. Bro, please ask him about the CPMs. Ask him how he's going to disrespect the culture as well by, by saying I don't exist. And please ask that man why he says I got to eat, even if I got to sell a negative image of your community, not his own. Those things trigger me. And I think these are the questions that we have to be, have the courage enough to ask if we have the courage enough to ask our own culture 
Like, if you're going to ask Kanye or me all these questions, please get at that man. Even if he won't want to answer, push him. Pause. That's all. And with Bleak, I ain't mad at you, Bleak, but I just don't remember that story. I was wondering why he was telling it that way and how that could even sound. So, you know, I'm not mad. Love you to death. But, yeah, I'm just curious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel you. I feel you on that. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel, I feel your passion for the education, and I feel your passion Well, my for thing is, it's tricky. Like, to me... If it's just a lot of convoluted... It doesn't matter. They're getting know. the message. Just like when I got on the, the, the Breakfast Club. Y'all would have got here and told me you could have delivered that message different, but I think the way I delivered it was pretty effective. But in that moment, a lot of people would have told me it wasn't. And but based on the algorithm... Which aspect when you were talking yeah, right, about, about the when boss? I was, when I was saying... Being that you, a boss? Yeah. So many people tell me how much that's changed their lives and the trajectory of their family's future and how that changed everything about the way they approach things. Mm -hmm. You know? So, again, if I get you to the chip, just because in a moment you don't like the way I say it, I'm not listening to you about that because you've never done that before. You're not getting, not you, I'm saying in general, somebody mm -hmm. that's receiving what I'm saying. But how are you going to tell me how to say it and it works? And most of the time, like, how are you going to tell me? Like, it worked with Jay. It worked with Kanye. It worked with Kevin Hart. It worked with Rachel Ward. Do My way find... tends to work as yeah. far as getting to the bread. But, again... The people that I helped get where they had to go, it was off their talent. They deserve it. Right. I'm not mad at them. It's now it's time for me to do that for me. So that's what I'm doing right now in my family. Well, you, we, okay. I, I understand. Like, the only thing and I'd be mad validated. at is that they, they, it's just like, yo, why not just, like, you know, post my shit? Why be so mad at me? Like, I'm not even mad at them. I think, I think you're validated in your view. The only aspect that I question in that is with people that you love, mm. all right, there has to be an equal... Well, what people I love, what you mean? Just people that you care about. Meaning what, what you care about based on experience or, or based on... Past, like, present, future. Meaning my family or my friends. People that you consider your brothers. Listen, with dudes, they've been my brothers, so there's a certain past that they get, but I don't care so much about dudes after a while. Yeah, I get that. So it's like, yo, if you want But I'm not talking about just dudes, I'm just meaning in general. If you want to be saying my name, then, you know, I'm going to have to say... I'm just saying in general. Well, I'm addressing the point where you say that you don't care necessarily about the delivery. And I understand no, why. No, that's not what I said. Hold on. I was saying I don't care sometimes if people say my delivery could have been different uh -huh. because that delivery was actually very effective. So if it wasn't effective, if I didn't see results in our culture, I would have said, yo, I would have did that different. Do you but think it's important to acknowledge to people that you love mm -hmm. that yeah. I care about how I'm talking to you. I care about my how my delivery makes you feel if I, it makes I, you feel I, bad. I, I do say Do you care yeah, about that? I do. That's why I say it. So I'll tell somebody, I'm like, look, and you've seen me say this. I have. <laughs> I, I don't want to... I, if I say one time a certain way, I say it nice. Mm -hmm. You're not doing it. A week later, three weeks later, I say it a different way. Still not doing it. Fifth, it's like, yo, I got... If this is the only starting point sometimes, sometimes I got a shortcut and get right to it just to get the result. And it's not so damaging other than in the moment because I know how people react with hormones. The but, only thing I would say is that that's effective with certain people. It's not effective to all people. Nothing's effective to all people. Right, so I think and that sometimes... I can't sometimes... be everything to all people, but overall, it's been 90% effective where it counts. So... For Rachel's help, for Jay, for Kanye, for Nori. Like, you got to remember with Nori, there was a vote with Nori, with me, Biggs, and Jay to sign Nori. Jay voted no. For Kanye, Biggs voted yes for Nori. For Joe Buttons. Like, I actually had an issue. Half of my problems that I had with Jay was that I signed Kanye, that we... That, that we voted to sign Kanye, to sign Joe Buttons, and to sign Noriega. But then I, again, it's like, it's just hard sometimes to be like, damn, I just wish some kind of respect was reciprocated on certain things just because of the mega things I've done. I don't do mega shit for people. So sometimes I, like, I, I, I'll give, the only people that I give gifts to that I'm, and it hurts when they don't give gifts back. Like, if I give my daughter something for a birthday, and on my birthday, she doesn't celebrate my birthday, it hurts, but I'm going to still give her the gift. 
You understand what I'm saying? But I'm not doing that for nobody no more. That Did I, you do it with the expectation of them reciprocating? I'm from the street, bro. Do you when you in the street mm -hmm. and you're part of something, yeah. you do it with the expectation of reciprocative love, reciprocative love. Right also, or wrong? I made a mistake in doing that a I'm lot. I'm not saying that you didn't make a mistake. I'm saying, did you expect that? At times. So that's the reason why I expect it, but it doesn't break my heart. I just, all right, go ahead. If I saw something in somebody, you know, that I was doing things for, because I've done things for a lot of people, as you have, in my neighborhood and where I'm from, but I would see certain things in different people that I knew what the possibilities were. Let's say certain people. With these people. Not, not everybody, certain people. So, like, I referenced people that you've brought around me yeah. that you consider very thorough. So you have certain kind of relations with, with certain people. But I have been close to people right. who I knew were not thorough like that. We all are, but right? my, I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about the people that have presented themselves as I'm going to go all out for you, you go all out for me, we in this brotherhood together. You have an expectation... And all of those people that we've talked about today, uh -huh. you you saw that in them? No. Because you're a good judge of character, listen, bro. Listen, like I said, I don't think that Nori did anything to, like, violate me. No, no, no. That's not that's not I my just, question. I, what I'm saying, did you see... I, I the, don't think... Was I, there I don't an wanna... agreement there? Like, meaning, like, you know what? This I, Rockefeller I, thing. I, I'm yeah. doing this for them because they wait, would wait, do wait, it wait, for wait, me. With, with, mm -hmm. with, with certain people, yes. So, with like... And again, we're talking about a lot of people. I don't want to keep bringing them up. But yeah, with the people that are suing me, 5,000%. With Nori, he hasn't done nothing that I'm like, I'm just like, yo, I just wish that, you know, you pass a plug or something, or just at least, like, really ask these questions on my behalf. Because you know the questions that I want. Like, Damon, like, here's a list, just ask. Like, the other day, Smoke Dizzle was going to have an interview with somebody, and I was like, yo, ask him these questions for me. And Smoke was looking like, I'll ask him, bet, fuck it. But then he was like, and then I was like, nah, I ain't going to do that to you. But out of respect, I know he would, even if it made him uncomfortable. But why did you? But but why did you say? I didn't want to gonna... put him in that position. Pause. So why you want to put Nori in that Nori position? Because Nori put me in that position by asking me. Asking like, me. Smoke never asked me certain questions in front of people. Asking you about about Lior. That's all. Reciprocative, reciprocative respect. That's all. But which are, just to clarify. But even though I'm not even mad at him. Yeah, I'm just no, because like, I was going to say, like, to clarify. Making it like I'm, like, again, no, no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. I swear that to God. That's just not. all that I was talking about. I just want to mm -hmm. clarify, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I just want to clarify first the expectation. Yeah. And also, the friendship doesn't hinge Again, on I don't the, even care about none of that. The, the question didn't get asked, right? So now that he didn't ask him, I'm bringing it up in the form of this therapy. You know, like, yo, he didn't ask these questions and it bothered me because I want to, you know. But I wish, by the way, while I'm bringing that up, yeah, this is what it also makes me think about the, the other time he did that. She said, if he didn't do it again, I would I just keep making me think about it. So I don't want to, I'm like, yo, and again, I'm not mad, but if I could leverage how I feel to bring awareness to something that I think is going to help our culture, stay, I'm hammering down, CPM, <laughs> fuck the bullshit. I don't care about nothing he did, got all the other hammer stuff. Today. You got Thor's CPMs. Hammer. Don't get off of that because you may not understand it as much, but that's how you make your money at... YouTube. Ask that man about why he there's no transparency at YouTube, why you can't get an accounting of how much they make off your commercial. I called it out for that to be the topic of conversation. So you're not tripping about the Dame questions? I mean, I would prefer, yeah. I'm not tripping at all about anything. But I'm going to also, it's just when you ask me, yeah, I'm like, damn, it's, it's a, a question. I'm like, damn, I wish you would do that. He always doing that shit. So I wish, you know, I'm addressing it. Like, yo, I, I love you, Nori. But you asking about me in public, a lot of interviews. So because you continuously do, and I don't mind, you give me my flowers. These are the things and how I feel. I'm not going to go on your platform where Leo is going to take all the money or where and talk about this. I'm going to talk about it on mine. How do you think um, talking about it on your platform? How makes do you Nori think? Feel? Mm -hmm. Makes Nori feel? I was going to... Yes. At this point, it doesn't matter because he's talked about me on his platform. Well, I want to I wanna ask this. It's evil. It's, it's evil. How do you think that now ha engaging in this conversation here in the way that you have, how do you think that's going to affect your brotherhood with Nori? I don't think it should affect it at all because he's asking So he shouldn't feel me. a way 
if he watched this right now, he shouldn't feel any type of way with how you've conducted yourself as it relates to talking about him specifically in this conversation. Mm-hmm. From a brotherhood perspective. From a brotherhood perspective, I don't think he should be mad at all. What about bleep? Definitely not. No. So you don't and, think they should feel any type think, of way? And I, if he does, my expectation of him, I'd be disappointed because I would think he's more thorough than that to be bothered over what I'm saying because I think it's fair what I'm saying. I'm not dissing him. I didn't say anything to hurt him. I just said what I don't like about him not asking those questions. And if he says the same thing to you? About, so what, about what? I, about what? If I was to ask him, if he was here, uh-huh. and asked him exactly what she just asked, mm-hmm. and he said, no, I think Dame, Dame knows I love him. Here's the challenge. Ask him. I'm not going to speak for that man. I don't know how that. No, I'm saying if he did, would it bother you? If he answered exactly how you just answered. If he said, what? If he said, why? Why is Dame tight? I brought him up, and then I moved on. I mean, I'm a journalist and slash entertainer, and I had to because he went right juggle for the both wait, 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 hats. Wait, wait. And then I would say, so I, I mean, I, I gave out. him love, wait, wait, but at the same out. time, I had a job to do. Right, he could say that. He could very well say it, but I would disagree. I tried to find the balance I'm in that. Tell you, not, Go ahead. So again, what you keep forgetting is he pressed me and asked ten questions about New York. And kept asking questions about everybody. Let's so, do this. When we not, let's let me, click, let I want to click. I'm, I want to click. I'm getting cut off right now. I'm now, if we can, if we I'm have, still a getting cut off right now. Let him finish his thought, please. You're right. Go ahead. I'm asked the question. I'm answering. Yeah. Again, the difference is like again. I don't think he would say that because he's asked these questions. Like he asked me a bunch of questions, and he didn't ask him these questions. He didn't ask anything about the CPM. And again, if let's say he says, I'm not going to be like, all right, I don't like. I'm not, I don't really feel a way. I just want those questions asked because he didn't ask them. I'm disappointed. And now I'm asking them. Mm-hmm. And, and, but I would like Nori maybe to, you know, I'm sure he will. Uh, maybe he won't. But if he wants to address why he didn't ask those questions, he could do that. Or he could come on my platform and address those situations. He could come address it with y'all. Or he could call you on the phone. Yeah, he could call me on the phone. Or you could call him. Yeah, but then the rest of the world wouldn't get the answer to the question if anybody gets Leo back on. I want people to think about, I don't care, I'm going to use this CPM. Ask about your CPM. It sounds like that's separate. Nah, I don't care from, how from, no, no, it, it sounds like that's a separate thing that you're also trying to make sure yeah. gets the education and the exposure. For him and everyone For else. whatever reason. But I want to know why he wouldn't ask him that. But we're talking about the relationship with you and Nori, and Nori as it cool. relates to the brotherhood yep, the brotherhood's aspect. Brotherhood's cool. He hasn't violated no brotherhood. I just wish he'd ask those questions. No, I, I told you, me, Nori checks in. I sent him America New. He's like, I'll check it out. We still talk. It's, it's not like a, a, a big deal. You know what I mean? But he's not asking, you know, he, he's asking those questions in public. So I got it. I'm, 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 I'm like, yo, this is how I felt about those questions being asked or not being asked. So it's just something that, you know, I, I think when, if people get on television, this is something like if you want to be in front of a camera, if you want to have opinions, you're going to have to deal with people talking about you. And this is how I deal with it. Or I, I have to deal with people that I know on television, sometimes not doing what I expect them to do. This is how I deal with it. So I just choose to lead by example. You know what I mean? Like, I want people to know that, yeah, like, yo, I'm not superhuman. But I actually, I can sit here, I can, I'm talking to two therapists at the same time. You know what I mean? I'm down for all of that. I want to be better. You know what I mean? I think one of the messages, too, that's important to get out is um, for kids coming up, not just in this YouTube shit or these views, but just kids coming up in the world and people watching. Conflict is part of life. Yeah. You don't get results without conflict. So it's a necessity. But it's very important that we model also how to deal with those conflicts and resolve these conflicts with people that we say that we care about. Very important that we do that in a productive manner. You know what I mean? And, 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 and I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. that's basically Figuring my, out what is the right way to and, handle and, conflict. And, and bal- yeah, exactly. I think, the, I think the balance is important. Yeah. Like just as much as we took, because again, I wouldn't have gave him that much work. Like I'm, I'm more excited about actually art detecting something, investing my dream and everything in it, and being able to benefit with my family. Mm-hmm. And also how important it is to celebrate those W's. Mm-hmm. Like the fact that Boogie's doing Blue Rock and he brought the plug with Prophecy for the ads and, and, and with space. And the mm-hmm. fact that I don't have to, I actually was able to step down as a CEO 
Mm-hmm. Even really another one of my challenges is even with like both of y'all. I'm like, yo, y- y'all on the television network. I got television shows. I'm like, yo, I want y'all to promote. I want y'all to realize what it is and all that. And I'm going to push y'all because I know what y'all want. And I know how to get there. And I'm, you know, I, I know it's going to mean doing things that you're not used to doing because of the PTSD of not having a network that gets to pull to CPM. And, and why it, it's getting uh, uh, unaddicted to the dopamine. And that's the way they pay you in YouTube is by celebrity and not money. And wanting y'all to be able to understand that the opportunity, my, having Rocky understand it, having, you know, the one that gets it a lot is Ava, but I wish she got it more. You know, that everybody, because the last couple of years we haven't had what we need to monetize our content and be seen, that now we have it to kick into marketing gear, to turn into mm-hmm. promoting yourself in a certain way and me leading by example. I'm going hand in hand, but I know that people have to understand, like if you have something on the network, I'm not putting it on everybody on the network. It's about so much real estate that's gonna be there, but if you do, if people are on the network and they not coming to your net, your, your, nobody knows, you ain't no gonna be no money made. Mm-hmm. So I'm, Rocky, I'm like, yo, this is your network. Boogie, promote it, it's yours. Like, these, I know how to promote, but getting people to now go from, yo, what would we do if we had that, to now understanding that we have that. Now what does it look like? Mm-hmm. So if you're not promoting different, then you're not realizing that there's a nice. different scenario and opportunity, and how do I get everybody to understand that? Getting Daniel to understand it. Getting everyone that I care about, mm-hmm. not to be offended by me pushing them to be great, because it doesn't hurt me if you don't, but it does hurt me because I know the potential and y'all been loyal and I know what y'all want. So I'm like, this is how to get there. Hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm like you said, he know I'm gonna keep saying it. Like I'm like, yo, why I'm gonna hammer it in. New up there. Like, you're like, yo, I'm gonna keep hearing it. <laughs> so I'm hammering down. What is, I think- and I'm lead and I'm getting it from you. So, but bottom line is, once I saw him doing that. So once I saw it, that when you want to instill a point in somebody, you'll say it 20 times. He'll keep saying it if he wants you to, but he'll keep saying it. And now I'm like, oh, I can do that now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to now do it to you. You know what the, <laughs> you know what no, but the thing, but the thing mm-hmm. is, is this. Because mm-hmm. when we were talking about the hammer pause, <laughs> when we was talking about that, what did I tell you? The I what? said, when we was talking about the hammer, you was telling me, you was like, man, you be hammering on people. I said, yeah, you do too. Yeah. Right? Okay. But what did I tell you? I said, oh, if you feel hammer like down. I said, if you feel like you got a hammer, hammer that shit, nigga. Pause. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Now, this is the thing, though. You know what the difference is in our situations? Like we'll yell. Feel me? We were very similar. You know what I mean? Like we set boundaries with each other. They'll be like, y'all, you never done me like that. You never done. But then afterwards, it's like, hey, bro, you know what? I respect it. Yeah, you know that's, that, but that's therapy. This is right again. I wouldn't even have a conversation with a dude like you like that yeah. if I didn't think I could. Like I'm not getting into like I've been right. th- there's conversations I've had with people in business recently yeah. that they've told me certain things are gonna happen and it hasn't. Then when I ask them questions, they start talking to me aggressively. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing so much of that. Right. Like, I'm not Likewise. beefing with nobody. It's like, yo, I right. but if it's if it's you know, and again, I'm not getting into a beef with nobody. That's not going to be. That's it. We ain't talking no more so much. You know, until we have an understanding of those boundaries. I'm not arguing with a grown ass man, but we not arguing. Mm-hmm. I no. just think I'm passionate about. Yo, this is the way you got to do it. Likewise. You know, and then like I, you know, and I, so that's all. But if it's like, yo, it gets into some different shit. It never has, and it won't because that's not what we here for. Mm-hmm. It's just. But I've seen, I've seen. I've seen. Well, not with me. With other people. I've seen it get to that well, with people that you've known for a long time. Yeah, like Daniel. Okay, and yeah. you, look, and there, listen, I'm not going. Not a therapist. I, I, I'm not. No, no. But I'm saying my point to that is there was hammers involved, but and I'm here's talking about a different thing hammer. That you have like, to they yeah. was able. They was. Yeah. They was able. Film. They was able after all of that to talk and show each other equal, equal respect. Mm-hmm. OG Daniel didn't leave here saying. I agree with you. That's not what he did. You didn't do that either. You know what I'm saying? You said, you know what? And I'm going to say, say the short version. 
you said, we're going to agree to disagree. Those weren't your exact words, y'all exact words. But it, but basically, to sum it up, they're like, you know what? We're going to agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. I love you, though, nigga. Feel me? That's and so, so, so I think, not to go back, but we was talking about these interviews and shit, mm -hmm. you know? I think, I think what people not necessarily want to hear, or even the interviewers, and even better for yourself when you're dealing with these situations, is when you show that you've come to a an acceptance of a situation to say, you know what? Jay, Bleak, blah, blah, whoever. This is how you feel. This is how I feel. And this is it. Yeah. That's it. I have nothing else to say about the situation. If, if, if one of y'all want to holler at me, I'm here. I love you. The but, door's but, open. But if, if, like, someone goes in public and says a story that I don't remember, yeah, yeah, no, I am going to be wondering why. Yeah. And if, if someone yeah. asks... Well, that's me, different. That's I think, different. That's, that's a little different. I think different. what he's that's saying is that true yeah. healing is yeah. the ability to still be exposed to it uh, and it not make you shift. Right. Exactly. I, I, you're right. Exactly. Like I said, I, I think I forget. And that's everybody. when you know you've healed from I, I, I haven't healed from getting the lawsuit yet. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to heal from that. All right. I need you to have a conversation. That's fair. I, and, and it's hard to, like, without closure, heal without having a conversation because I could be wrong. Like, he, they might very well tell me something that might make sense to me, and I'd be like, damn, I was wrong for being mad at you, but at least tell me that. Right. But no one's even... Usually and what if you, the never get the op you never get the opportunity to have the conversation? Let me for a second. Yeah. Usually, the algorithm of when people don't want to have a conversation about what they did is cause, or what's happened it's because they've done something they know is wrong. And I'm always willing to have the conversation. And that's just my algorithm. The last question I'm going to ask you, because we've talked about a lot, and I, you know, I have a feeling this is going to be a whole other session at some point, because you know, this is a lifetime of stuff that we've talked about. Knowing that you said that you're a public figure, right? The rules are a little, would you say the rules are a little different for public figures? Yeah. yeah okay. So. Because you, you, you have to deal with both. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. It, it's like the rules are different for yeah. a boxer. Like, you're not used to get, most people aren't used to getting punched in their face all for day sure. for a mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. sure. So most people aren't used to having people judge them all day, but it's a life you're choosing. So would you. You can't really let it affect you so much. Like, it so you won't take me so much. So you won't take it personal if, they, if people use you as clickbait. I don't take it personal at all. It's actually a benefit, right? 100%. I'm not mad at that, but don't don't use don't lie on me for clickbait. I mean, you know that'll make me mad or make yeah. it where I have to clear it. You know, but it's clear that you control you control you control your narrative. Yeah, correct? exactly. And you control how you. Just respond my friends. To those I don't things. like people say shit about me all day. Like I, in the newspaper, all that. A lot of that should be. I hear a lot of bullshit about me. Yeah. I don't respond to anything, but unless I have a personal relationship, that's I haven't said anything about a stranger yet. Mm. Right, you said everyone that I've talked about are people I start with brother. That's the only thing that bothers me is people that I used to consider my brothers. Do you think they consider still consider? Uh, we asked this question before. It's fine. Mm. I just wanna, I just wanna make sure that when you gave them that title because of what was happening at that time or what y'all built at the time, if time has passed and there hasn't been work on both ends to foster that brotherhood then they may have a different expectation of what that relationship is now in comparison to back then, where you probably have not shifted who they are in your mind, it's all but good. to it's them, good. it, it could have shifted. It's all good. Because care. it hasn't been nurtured in Again, so long. bring me up, I got to address it. I don't care. Like, you know, I have different relationships with different people. They have different recollections of memory. And, mm -hmm. you know, if you get on... Uh, 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 interview and you ask questions or ask me questions or talk about me, then it's going to invoke I'm human. <clears throat> Some kind of emotion, but not enough to like fuck my day up, just enough to ask the question or just enough to leverage it. Or to clear the air. Yeah, like I, I'm just a person that likes to deal with the elephant in the room. Yeah, man. Gets deep, man. Gets deep. But that's what usually happens. That's what it, on that, CEO on the CEO show yeah, that, healing this gangster. Yeah, again, this is the whole purpose of this, of us talking, is for people to see how I deal with things, as a CEO, to learn from them, 
And if someone's going to be talking about something public perception wise, like my question really would be like, let's say, let's say the other end of this, I would ask like, what if what I'm saying is right? Wouldn't that be called, what's that shit called? The, the trigger, what's that called? Triangular? Uh, talking about triangulation? Yeah, we're talking triangulation. About well, triangulation is yeah, it's so a little, wait, 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 it's a little wait, different. Wait, wait. Well, for me, like, I'm not a therapist, but, like, I hear things, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, damn, that sounds like, for me, tri triangulation. triangulation. Maybe they need to, you know, like, I'm looking at it like, To be wow. aware that that's what they're doing. Maybe. You know, I don't know. It could be. Like, meaning if I know the different things based on knowing that I'm talking to y'all, I'm like, yo, it's just like I read The Art of War, not because I'm going to use it, just so that I, I knew that the people that I was in offices with, like a Lior or everyone else had the book. So I'm like, what are they reading that they're going to use against me? So I just want to know what to categorize it as, or if it's that, then that's why they're doing it. If it's not, if I'm doing it, it's how I'm, you know, those kind of things. And also, I can give the right advice to people when they deal with it. Mm -hmm. So Rocky's going to be famous. Nicolette's going to be famous. Boogie, everybody knew is about to de deal with it. you going to be famous, you going to be famous. Like, you're going through stuff, and I see it. I'm like, yo, that's what happens when you get famous. Or certain, you know, you got to get used to that when you have a landlord that's, you know, mm -hmm. it's just certain things I know he's going to go through. Therapists are not. He's not going to have an algorithm to base it on because it's never happened. <coughs> happened to him before. Same with you. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yo. There's, there's CEO therapy that I could give other people that I want to be CEOs based on my behavior pattern. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, this is what's going to happen. It's going to get the dark before the dawn. These are the challenges. That, this is how you got to react to it. Don't take it personal. Don't get triggered here. You know, don't worry about it. Like, you know, those are the things that I also tell everybody. There has to be an equal understanding, not between just us, but just in general, that we have to be open to, to evolve and change. 100%. And there has to, and therapy and healing doesn't work if you don't come into it with that pure intention of self improvement. Yeah. Right. And we have to take ego out. But 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 also my intention is sometimes I talk to you, like if I know I'm gonna have a conversation with certain people, I'll talk to you. Absolutely. So I know how to talk to them. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like I know that everything I'm going through is eventually gonna happen to other people. So I got to be able to tell them how I dealt with it. Mm -hmm. So I also try to work on me so I can tell people when they go through what I'm going through, how I felt, what I did, how I reacted, what yeah. worked, what didn't, how to categorize certain things, how to deal with people. You know, it's all research as well. Yeah, and from the heart, at the, the humility side of, of Damon, what would you say are the top three things that you are currently working on? Um... not being, figuring out how to talk to people in their love language is like, how could I get to communicating and getting, because the people around me, their dreams are huge, but you know, I, I don't want them to have to, I want to figure out how not to have to talk to people a certain way, because I sometimes don't feel like I'm being heard. Are you doing that for you? Or are you doing that for them or both? Both. It really frustrates me not to be spoken to in my love language. But like if I'm telling people stuff for their own good and it's not hearing me, or if, you know, I don't feel like I'm being appreciated or if I'm being taken for granted or the opportunities that I present are being taken for granted, I, I want to be able to not be so offended by that not to feel so bad it's just people that are around me all day but um also like not being such a control like making asking prophecy to be the ceo of a company i started i've never really done that before you know what i mean like something that's about me so I was like, okay, I'm gonna do things different this time. I'm gonna let somebody else run the company. I'm gonna be creative. How's that been? It's great. You know? And the third thing that, that you're working on? 
Um, I want to not be so unfocused. So I'm trying to focus on one thing at a time. Like, for example, like there was a project I did. Um, and I told, I'll tell you offline. Again, I don't want to announce it until mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. have it done and she's cool with it. But it's a project that I did. And usually in that project, I would have approached it a completely different way. I would have tried to get everything done as, as much as possible. Mm -hmm. at one time, but um, I did it different. Like, I just focused on just the creative. That's it. And how does that connect with you working on not being so unfocused? Because instead of doing the podcast, the music video, instead of doing designing the merch, instead of, you know, I, I just wanted to focus on the, making the music. I just wanted to be, I don't want to, I didn't want, I was trying not to be a CEO. I just got to focus on making music, you know? So just doing things different is what I'm focused on no matter what, because I want a different result. You know what I mean? And, and also, it, it's really like the most challenging thing and, and what I care about the most is just like, you know, how to talk to my daughters and my sons, my kids, you know, how to communicate in a way where I ain't got to get mad to uh, have them listen. But you've been, doing like, a, you've been doing a good job with that, actually. I, I, I have been seeing that. And, uh, you know, it shows in the, the closeness now as opposed to before. Yeah. So I definitely want to, you know, I've seen your progression in that. Yeah, thank you. Like, like I think that overall, um, life is a, a, a long, it's a marathon. And you just kind of have to practice Shout patience. To you have to have patience and consistency to, to have a change. I don't ever expect anything to happen overnight. And I, I always try again, to say like whatever's bothering me about somebody, it must be something that is relatable to me because I could have possibly do it, done it or maybe I'm unconsciously doing it. So also I try to make sure like I'm not mad or I, I'm, I'm, I'm not bothered because it's something I'm unconsciously doing. Mm. <clears throat> I, I see a lot of people not practice what they preach unconsciously though. Teach, uh, do things a certain way, but when it comes to them, it's out the window. Hmm. So I don't want to be that person. <coughs> also, figuring out how to identify, um, I just sometimes don't feel like I'm hurt. Like, you know, I be telling people shit and they just don't listen until it's like, I just feel like because I say so much, a lot of what I say is discounted. So, like, there was a situation, right, when I think Rocky, I wanted something done before, like, there was some, I forgot what it was, but I was like, yo, I'm just not going. And oh. they called you. <laughs> and I was like, you, but you understood. You were like, yeah, that's your way of communicating and being heard. So figuring out, like, like sometimes, yo, me just jumping out of the car, <clears throat> and going for a walk with a dog in the middle of the street can save so much argument and damage. You know, like that's when they know I'm really tight and that's when I know I'm so tight I might say something that might hurt your feelings. Like mm -hmm. it becomes, sometimes things can go from um, teaching to damaging, like where it can feel abusive. So I don't want to ever talk to anyone where I feel like now I'm hurting them. Then it goes back to what you said earlier, learning how to speak to your right. loved ones right. in a way where it can be received. Right. And, so and, that, and then at the same time, then you're also being heard. But also, if I don't think I'm being heard, like I'm like, is the person that I don't think I'm being heard, am I not hearing them? So then I try to kind of 
be like, what was have I been unconsciously maybe in, inconsiderate about? You know, because you, you don't hurt anybody on purpose, really. You know, so that, well, those you, are well, challenges. I mean, it depends. Yeah, Meaning sometimes like you someone can. Someone you love. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're not going to, uh, I don't want to hurt yeah, my it, child. It, it, I don't want to hurt my child. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to hurt my girl. I, I want them to not hurt themselves, and I don't want to have to hurt them. So, like, it's like when I had that thing with, with Andre when I was boxing him, <laughs> I missed. Yeah, I remember that. And I tore my shoulder with one punch, and I ripped something in there. Oh, you ripped something? I didn't know yeah. that. So yeah. that's why he, I couldn't throw any more. I was going to say, man, you, start, you stopped uh, swinging. Yeah, after I punched him in his face. Okay. But anyway, my point is mm -hmm. um, I couldn't get the operation to fix it because I'm diabetic and it would cause frozen shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I don't want to fix one thing to cause another problem. Mm -hmm. So I might get you there, but it causes a different problem. I don't want to do that. So I try to figure out how to uh, get there. Also, you know, dealing with my daughters having boyfriends and shit. Mm -hmm. Or like my daughter, Ava, you know, she just got like a billboard, but it was for... Congrats to her. For Peter, sure. right? But like, you know, she, she doesn't have enough clothes for a father to want to look at. So it's like, I'm happy that she got it. I can't promote it, but it's like, it's so bittersweet. Finding the balance. And then like, yeah, and then to, of their know, free will. My, my versus... daughters have boyfriends and I got to deal with all that. It's part of the game. I'm not mad. I just, there's certain things that make me uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to figure out how to deal with the, like, you know, I wonder who has a boyfriend. That shit bugs me for a year now. Like, God. I wonder how much, do you ever like look at your life and what's the ratio of time that you spend with your family, especially, where it's not about goals, it's not about business, it's not about you guiding them towards their potential. It's about being. It's just about just being. In the present moment. In the with present them. moment. Do you think you spend enough time with that for yourself? Not right now, because... Um, it's not the season for it. That and like Rocky, like it's very important to me that anyone I love is able to be able to deal with things on their own, that they're not dependent on me and they make their dreams come true. So to me, it's very important to me that everyone around me has a dream or else I know they're going to get depressed or they're going to just be waiting for me to come home. I want to make sure, I, I just feel like until a dream is realized, it ain't no time for that. But the fact that we're together all the time, is it's the lifestyle, is the dream. But with my daughters, I, I don't spend enough time. You know, with any one of my children that I haven't been with the moms, I haven't spent enough time. I don't get that vacation time. They, they parents always have... The, like the one thing I've done is made sure that regardless that my kids have been millionaires, even when I'm not getting money, they still live like millionaires. You know what I mean? They, their parent. I've always made sure their mothers have enough money to go on vacation, even when I can't. They my need kids it from have, you too, though. I want to go on vacation with them, but their mothers won't let me. That was been a big mm. part of my fight and a big part of my conversation. So I'll be like, yo, how come you, you know, certain your parents keep, you know, other halves keep booking vacations when they know that that could be my time? They I, keep doing it. I think that's, I think that situation, you know, a lot of us have dealt with that as, you know, fathers that might have not co been. Co-parents. Yeah, right. you know, we're well, co-parenting. Well, I was just saying that as it relates to do I spend enough time, yeah. with that that's the reason why I don't. But I try to make it where, yo, to get them all together at one time is impossible. And they, again, their parents, oh, they, their mothers always make vacations when it's time for me to think, like, if they do it, like, give them something to do. And mm -hmm. a lot of times at that moment, I don't have the money to go on the kind of vacation. So as long as they got the money to go on the vacation, I'm good. 
I wish that they would be considerate of my time and be like, like I've had these conversations, like, yo, how you not going to let me go on vacation? With, I've never been on vacation with Lucky. And so, you know what I mean? I'm like, he, be, he goes on vacation. But yeah, I funded those vacations and you haven't even made sure I went on vacation with him to the extent that every holiday you make sure you plan a vacation. Mm -hmm. just, like, just like I had told you when, when you were dealing with the uh, communication I issue with them some years back, when I was like, oh, you know what? With family especially, a lot of these things are temporary. They seem like they're gonna last forever, but it's temporary. These kids grow, they become adults, they're able to make their own decisions as you're seeing now, mm -hmm. right? So you know that time is coming when Lucky is gonna, gonna have his own, his, yeah, he'll have his own, just like Boog. I know. And you saw that Boog has come to you now, right? No, no, I, again, so my I was, point, my, my whole point, my, my point to that is, is going back to my original question of the just being. Yeah. yeah it's, you it's, know, it's, I think- I don't I, have enough time with him to just be. So here's how- I wish I did. So, so like Damon- if, uh, Wait, let me say. Mm -hmm. So like with Lucky, when I'm with Lucky, I'm hammering down on him for all the time I'm missing so he could be prepared as a man. But I do make the time for us to relax and do fun stuff. But I'm like, I don't want you to get in a position where, I, you know, you go to college, waste four years of your life, and then you're doing what the algorithm and everyone else is doing, struggling, instead of learning about your family. Now, if I had him, every, with, with, I, I'll put it like this. I spend that kind of time with baby Dusko, you know? I get because I have them every day, all day. It's important for you, though. As yeah, well. you're right. It's important for but them. But I don't have my kids enough. Like I said, with Raquel, I try to make that time, but it's hard to get her to stop moving around. You know, but I try to, like, yo, let's get by the pool and just relax. But it's so much to do. Yeah, I'm going to challenge you. That's two hours? All right. Yeah. All right, we'll wrap it up. I'm just going to, before we close, I'm going to challenge you mm. to plan because you're great at planning and you have great supports great around time you. Management Before skills. you say it, let me just tell you. Hold so on, let me finish my plan thought. Plan a vacation with my kids. No. Okay. To, pl to plan a vacation, staycation in your home. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Th th that's what I try to do. So I'm going to challenge you to do it for each and every one of them to the capacity in which you can. Where it's unplug, nothing about goals, dreams, nothing. None just being completely present with them. Mm. And the rule of the house is none of those things can be discussed. And right now, there's some bills that need to get paid. One day. Let me just finish. Okay. Um, I'm just saying I don't have the bandwidth to get... You can't do it individually with each one of them. I don't know. We we can have a conversation offline on the, but well, we can have a conversation offline on the structure because we don't know well, the reason, what, what everyone's okay, so every what child's circumstances. Mm -hmm. They all could come and see me whenever they want. So they can all get together for one day at the same exact day. Let me just finish. Go ahead. They all live in different places. That's the so point. So it's hard for any one of them to fly any place for one day. Right. And that also will cost too much because I got to pay for it. Mm -hmm. There's five children I got to pay. You know what I mean? One time. I'll do that before vacation. So for the ranch, trust me, and the, ho the house in Florida, both of those things, I've tried. Tulula hasn't even been to none of those places. And the reason why is every vacation, every time Tulula has time to go, her mom makes, you know, I don't like to do all that, you know what I mean? But I, I can't get them all at one time. Okay. But if I could, I, I'm trying to, like I've tried to plan it for Thanksgiving, of course, Another vacation comes. That's fine. Try to plan so it. So, to the Christmas. best of your ability, it doesn't. The the challenge is not to get them all together on a day. Or the to challenge get five is for days you. I can get them. You have two in the house right now. Yeah. I, I do that with them. Okay. So now. Not today. I can't do that. Okay. So for the next yeah. six months, I want you, whenever you have accessibility, physically, with. Anyone. You have two you can knock out right now. What two? Two and Ava? Yeah, they're both home. Yeah. We know that they're home today, right? No, so, no, they're not home today. She's at homecoming. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, she went out. Yeah, and so Ava she was getting her nails done. I think if he does wait, 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 it for wait. himself, I think if this. he does it for himself. Hold on, this? let me let me say this real quick. I, I think if he works on doing it for himself, okay, if he cuts off time for himself, to just Can be. I tell you my form of that? Oh, let, me, let me finish what I'm saying first, please. 
if he does the time for himself, for his own benefit, because self-care is a big part of mental health. This is part of being a CEO. You have to cut time. Gotta to shut do that. down. You gotta unplug. You have to do that. So, can I tell so you when I so, do it, I wanted. To, I, so if you I'm do recognizing, it, I'm recognizing when I do if you it. Do I'm it, trying to articulate it. To all right. If you, but, but but you have to hear what we're saying. <coughs> but I, I'm gonna hold on, hold on, Dang, Dan, Dan. We're setting the stage. We're the therapist. You're not a therapist. You're my friend. No, no. But this is listen. <laughs> Be clear. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> but we're the experts. True. So when I, <laughs> so what my my point is. If you set for yourself for this time, where you have time to yourself, where you're not thinking about goals. I get it, bro. You, you're not, that's the thing. You're not sometimes thinking about think that. I don't hear you. Hold on. I no, no, no. But you're not hearing what I'm saying. 24 hours. I did hear you. You're not, hearing, you. you're, not hearing, you're not hearing what I'm saying, about to say, though. What I'm about to say is if you do that for yourself, all right, and you get into that implementation consistently, you can use that same time for them or whoever's available. So now can I tell you my form of that? Mm -hmm. What I do... Is there's a certain television show that I watch with my children that is straight garbage for us. I'm not going to say what it is on TV, but me and my daughters watch this garbage and don't talk about nothing business, and it's a ritual for us, okay. and that's the reason why I do it. So what I do is, we even did it today. Me, Tula, Ava, it's a new season of such and such, and we watch this shit. And it's so bad for us to watch. We No business gets taken care of. We don't talk about nothing. It's just garbage for our brain. And we watch it. And that's where we get our that time. So I do do that. And that's what I was trying to tell you. I do do that. 24 hours. And I hours. do try to do that. 24 hours. Yeah. If I, I, don't, I don't know that I have. I haven't, I, I, if I could get them to hang out with me for 24 hours and not talk about nothing, I would. But like, put it like this. Like when we go, when we went to Coachella, you know things like that. Yeah, we 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 don't talk. About, it's just straight fun. You know. But right now, if if any more time was more Much important, time. this is the time that we need to spend time as a family, building, building mm -hmm. our empire. That not any other time, but right now, because this is what I invested all the family's money in. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and it. it's a dream. We got it. For Still, the challenge is 24 hours. I'm gonna do. I, I have push no back problem on doing it. a 24. The, the cameras. The cameras 24 about to. 24 hours. The, the camera's about to cut off. So you know, thank y'all for tuning in, Dame. <laughs> you sat with two therapists, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Congratulations. You that's, me? that's that can be very difficult to do. I don't know what y'all want to call that. You, you know what I mean? Call that a show. That should be a yo, show. Yo, yo, thank, <laughs> thank y'all. Th two therapists yeah. and the subject. Thank y'all for tuning. Thank y'all for tuning in. You know what I mean? It's been a pleasure. Stay tuned. CEO show. Healing is Gangster. Hood Therapist. Dame Dash. And Melody. That she does everything. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for watching. Heal yourself. Help to heal each other. And, and, and right now we about to cut to a new video from Boogie and Lee. And also a little clip of a video from the Freeway Project that I'm working on. Uh, Very and, nice. And also, you, you, I would really wish that you would promote your show on the American New because you got your Yo, own. Yo, Cat's Healing is Gangster. Cat's Healing is Gangster on American New. You know oh, what I'm saying? You have two seasons, and I, got, I really yeah. wish you. See? Foster now, can't plug the, the talk show on Healing American is New. <laughs> HealingIsGangster.com. Pick up, pick, worry, pick your we'll, merch we'll, up at we'll HealingIsGangster.com. Get your CEO your show. shoes. Get your Foster account no, plug the promote, talk show. I, I, I promote, look, these are, got, these are out. Juice these Benny are Productions. <laughs> these glasses are out. But at the end of the day, y'all both have your own television shows on American New. What's the name of your show? Foster Clown Plug the Stage. What's the name of your show? Healing is Gangster. So that's the one that I have to hammer down on is getting y'all to promote your stuff. Y'all did not do that. And that's triggering but in a loving way. Next Go session. Go catch it. It just means I got to keep saying it. <laughs> Go get the gear. Can you see? Handle it. All right, then American okay, guys. news. Let's do it. Bye-bye. Shouts out to Projector 100.